Hey, hey, it's David. Welcome. Today I will be transplanting Cryptanthus vivitatus, also known as Earth Stars. Cryptanthus is a genus of plant in the bromeliad family. There are numerous varieties with different leaf colors and growth habits. I grow this plant as a windowsill house plant and it's currently in the middle of winter. So since the sun hasn't been as strong this time of year, this plant is looking much more green than it does during the summer months when the entire plant is bright pink. What's interesting about Cryptanthus is that they grow terrestrially, meaning on the forest floor hence the name Earth Star. Most other bromeliads are epiphytes. Epiphytic bromeliads tend to have a small root system, which only act as anchors for the plants. While Crepanthus, being a terrestrial bromeliad, it has a more substantial root system. Though my Crepanthus have seemed to enjoy being in this tiny pot. So I'm going to pot up this plant in a new pot that is only an inch or so wider than the existing pot. I chose a shallow pot as I don't believe this plant to have a deep root system. I also opted to upgrade to a clay pot. While this is a terrestrial plant, it does like an airy, well-draining soil medium. I will be repotting this plant with a commercial cactus and succulent soil. If I were keeping this plant in wetter conditions, or in a terrarium for instance, I would probably add some orchid bark to the soil mix so that the substrate is even more airy. But I think a simple well-draining soil paired with a small clay pot is going to work out great for my plant. Okay, let's remove the plant from the pot and I'll try not to make a big mess. As you can see, the roots are quite fine, and I wouldn't describe this plant as root-bound, even though the pot was quite small. Sadly, as I was removing the soil, one of the offsets very easily broke off. I will just pot up this offset separately and keep the rest of the plant together as I would like to grow a small clump. So I'm just going to work the soil around the roots. I also will press the soil in as soil does settle over time. All right, the mother plant is all set. And I think I'm going to just set the baby plant in the original pot since it's right here and it's the right size. And that's it. Now I'm just going to clean up and I'll water them in. I don't normally water overhead like this as I keep the plants indoors where there's not a lot of air circulation, but I am today just so that I can clean up the leaves. When I water overhead like this, I'm also sure to use RO water or rainwater. Once the soil has absorbed some moisture, I'll put the mother plant back on the same windowsill it had been living on. And for the baby plant, I think I'm going to place it in one of my prop boxes for a little while since it doesn't have any roots. The high humidity environment of the prop box should help it establish quickly. That's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this type of bromeliad. If you own any Crepanthus, I would love to hear your care tips. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.